Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. So if you're not already a member, please join up, and you will have access to the Z-Code VIP club section right here. You can see there's a section here for picks, hot trends, Z-Lab contests, all different types of tools that will help make your picks more effective so you can win more every single time. So we have entered the NBA playoffs finally. Uh, after the long break in the eight uh, seeding games in the bubble. So we're ready to go, and we have some first-round matchups here. There are eight matchups total. I will go through four of them for you here. So we're going to scroll down the page, and we'll take a look at what we have here. So in the first matchup, you see the Utah Jazz and the Denver Nuggets. Utah right now is ice cold up. You see that they have won only two out of their last six. Denver is ice cold down. They have lost their last three and also two out of their last six. And neither team is playing well at the moment. You will see also that on the power rankings indicator, the two teams are faring right now. You see both are on a downward trend. Denver is at plus 20 and Utah is at plus 13. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups for the season, you can see that Denver has won the last three but if you look at the scores they've all been close six points three points and two points in overtime so that should be a good indication of what to look for in this series and in fact if you look at the uh, first game you can see that denver is only a two and a half point favorite right there you can see that at minus 2.5 and they have the odds there uh denver is at 1.68 a slight favorite over utah which is at 2.38 if you're looking to bet the over and under in, in this series, you see that Utah is playing in games trending over the line here by plus two points. If you scroll down through, Denver is playing in games well over the line at plus eight. So expect a high scoring game and series. So bet the over in this one. If you look at the stability of the two teams on the volatility oscillator, you see that both teams are really stable at plus 24 for Utah, plus 22 for Denver, which means that they're both playing very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. So what I'm looking at here is I believe that Denver will continue the trend and they will win the game and the series probably in five or six games and expect a lot of close scoring games. So this should be one entertaining series. We go down through here now to the next one. We have the Brooklyn Nets at the Toronto Raptors. You can see here, we're given the Raptors a 96% chance of winning this game. And you can see it's probably a good bet that they'll probably win the series too. If you look at this, they're considerably better. Toronto comes in second seed in the East. Brooklyn comes in as the number seven seed. Brooklyn has average status. You can see they have won three out of their last four. So they have been playing much better lately. Toronto is burning hot. They have won their last four and five out of their last six. You can see that they are a nine and a half point favorite with odds of 1.225 to five. So you can see that they are a, a big favorite in this one. And if you go through the games for this uh, season, if you go down through here to the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see that Brooklyn actually won the last meeting between the two teams way back on February the 12th. But overall, uh, the Raptors have won three out of four by eight points, 19 points, and one point. Look at the power ranking indicator. You see Toronto is well ahead of them at plus 29 compared to plus 20 for New Jersey, or excuse me, Brooklyn. And look at the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams? Toronto extremely more stable as a unit at plus 35, consistently playing according to the third underdog status. Brooklyn is relatively stable at plus 13, but not nearly as much so as Toronto. If you're considering the over and under, which we always do, look at this. Brooklyn is at plus six. So you see that they're playing in games trending over the line. Toronto is playing in games trending under the line. But I would lean towards playing the over. You can see that uh, Toronto lately has been playing closer to the line than they had been before. And Brooklyn is well over. So I would lean towards betting the over on this one. As far as the series goes, there's very little indication that the Nets can hang with the Raptors. So pick the Raptors, Raptors to win probably in five games.
the Philadelphia 76ers and the Boston Celtics. Now, this is a very interesting matchup and probably the one to watch for for the for this first round. The 76ers right now are average up. They won their last game and four out of their last six. The Celtics are average at the moment. Uh, winners of four out of their last six as well. You can see that Boston is a five and a half point favorite in this one. And uh, with the odds of 1.45 to 3.06. And you can see we're giving uh, the Celtics a 66% chance of winning this game. You look at the power ranking indicator. Boston is well ahead at the moment at plus 28 to plus 14. The Sixers were at plus 19 and they dropped off uh, lately. Head to head for the series. Now this is what's interesting. Boston won the last meeting by a lot at the 21 point margin. But Philadelphia won three out of four during the regular season. The difference is this time there is no home court advantage. Philadelphia is extremely difficult to beat at home. But playing the bubble, there is no home court advantage. And also there without Ben Simmons, it makes it extremely a lot more difficult in this one. If you look at the totals predictor for the over and under, you can see Philadelphia is playing in games trending over, slightly over. Boston is well over. Again, bet the over in this one also. So it looks like every series so far is going to be very high scoring, which makes it, in some cases, more entertaining to watch. How stable are the two teams? Philadelphia, plus 37. Boston, plus 28. Again, both teams are pretty much performing according to their favorite underdog status. So in a normal situation, I would give Philadelphia a, a really decent chance of winning this series, but this is not normal. It's in the bubble. Philadelphia is without one of their top players. I expect Boston to win the series, but do not be surprised if it goes the full seven games. And finally, we got the Dallas Mavericks and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers are the number two seed in the West against the Mavericks, who are the number seven seed. The Clippers are burning hot at the moment. Winners of four out of their last six. Dallas has averaged down. They have lost their last two after winning the two previous. If you look at the odds here, you can see that the Clippers are a six and a half point favorite, and the odds have 1.425 to 3.195. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. Clippers are on an upward trend, they're at plus 27. Dallas on a downward trend, down to plus 16. Head to head for the season, the Clippers have won three out of four. And really by an easy amount each time, except for the one game when they won away by three. Dallas's victory was by 15 as well. If we look at the totals predictor over under, Dallas is playing in games trending over the line by six points. Clippers are playing in games trending over the line by two points. And again, so for every si uh, series that we mentioned here today, we are picking the over. So again, another high scoring series is expected. Look at the stability of the two teams. Clippers are at plus 29. More stable than the Mavericks. Considering that the Clippers should be a heavy favorite in most of these games, there's very little indication again in this series that the Mavericks have much of a chance against the Clippers. So it looks like we're picking the favorites to win all four of these series, which is not a, a huge surprise in the first round. So expect the Clippers to win. They might even sweep. The Mavericks could win one, but I doubt that they would win more than one game. So there you have it. Those are the predictions for the first round. Hope you enjoy, and we will see you next time. Happy betting, and good luck.